On December 19, 1974, former governor of New York Nelson Rockefeller was sworn in as vice president of the U.S. Gerald Ford had previously served as vice president when Spiro Agnew resigned in disgrace in 1973, meaning that both the president and the vice president in late 1974 had both not been elected to office. The office of vice president has long been derided as a trivial position, with John Adams, our first vice president, calling it the most insignificant office, and John Garner, FDR's first VP, calling the job almost wholly unimportant. Critics of the office must be reminded that the VP serves a single heartbeat away from the Oval Office, or in Ford's case, a presidential resignation away. Not only have 15 vice presidents become president, nine of them assume the top job while still serving as Veep. Who is your favorite vice president?